Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate. Welcome back to a new video. So I'm here back inside Roblox Studio. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own horror game part 3. So let's get into the video. So down here, you can see I have this R throw. Because this guy is going to be our jump scare. And as you can see, he's called jump scare 1. So if we just move him over here, like this, make sure you can't see him. Because what we're going to be doing is making a jump scare. So once you touch the trigger, then he should animate round the corner like that. So if we click him and then go to plugins, then go to animation editor, click it, click the R throw like that, making an animation clip. And then we could just skip ahead until I've made an animation. Okay, so once we have our animation, it should look like this like that and then if we just export it and then click the jump scare open him click plus add in a script and then name the script to animation script click the script click plus and then add in an animation click it go to properties and then animation id and then paste in the animation ID, like that. Also, I don't think it would work if you tried using mine. So um, it might not work, you might have to make your own. But then inside the script, we can remove print hello world. And type in local animation equals to script dot animation, like that. Go down and then type in local humanoid equals to script dot parent dot humanoid like that go down and then type in local animation clip equals to humanoid colon load animation two brackets and then animation like that then add in a weight brackets and then go down and then type in animation clip dot looped equals to false and then animation clip colon play two brackets and that should be it close it off and now what we need to do is click replicate storage click plus add in a folder and then name it to jump scares like that drag the model inside of there like this and now what we need to do is make a trigger to trigger a jump scare so if we add in a part, change the position, and also scale it like this. Make sure it's anchored, but also make sure transparency is set to one, as well as can collide is off. Then if we scroll up in properties, change the name to jump scare trigger one, like that. And then click it, click plus, add in a script, and then type in script dot parent dot touched colon connect two brackets function two brackets and then hit go down and it will ensure to appear a bracket and then we type in is if hit and hit dot parent colon find first child two brackets and speech marks and then humanoid then go down and do script dot parent colon destroy two brackets like that then close off the script and now we should have this triggers folder from the last episode so if click it open it up and then add it a folder name this folder to jump scare triggers then drag the jump scare trigger one inside of that folder like that and the next thing we need to do Open up the jump scare. So once again, go to replicate storage. Open up the jump scare folder. Open up our actual jump scare model. And inside the animation script, we can go down from where this weight is and then type in repeat, wait, two brackets, until game dot workspace dot triggers dot jump scare triggers colon 
find first child, two brackets in speech marks, and then jump scare trigger, one equals equals to nil, like that. And that should be script done, we close it off, and then click play. And then once we load in, we can walk over to a trigger, we touch it, then you can see the animation works, then we go around the corner, and then he's gone, like that. Then click stop. Also one more thing, just to make sure that the um, jump scare goes back inside the replicated storage, we can open up the script, when underneath this animation clip play, we can just add in a wait, and then let's wait like 1.5 seconds, go down, and do script, dot parent, dot parent, equals to game, dot replicated storage, dot jump scares, like that. Then let's just test it out one more time, click play, and then if we walk over to it, so go to trigger, touch it, you can see that the jump scare plays, we go around the corner, and then he's back inside the replicated storage. So then we click stop. And then let's do another jump scare. This time, let's do a locker falling over. So if we just get this locker, drag it inside the workspace. And one thing we do need to do is select all these parts, as well as the texture. So select all these parts, go to model, click union, and now you can see it's turned into this one whole part. So this is one whole model now. And then let's just paste in textures like this. Then select the union, go to name and change it to locker model. Once again, we can duplicate that, rotate it. And let's put this where we want the um, position to be when it falls. So about here, like this. But then this time we can select it, change the name, and let's make this name to fallen uh, position, like this. Then scroll up, make sure transparency is set to one, make sure cancelize is off, and then let's just delete the textures, like that. And now what we need to do is once again make the uh, trigger. So add in a part, make sure it's anchored and scaled like this. Once again we can rename it. So jump scare trigger 2 like that. Once again we can add in a script and type in script.parent.touched colon connect two brackets, function, two more brackets, and then hit, go down, a new end should appear, and then we do if hit, and hit dot parent, colon find first child, brackets and speech marks, and then humanoid, and then then, go down, script dot parent, colon destroy, two brackets, like that, and then close it off, once again, make sure transparency is set to 1, as well as can collide is off. Then drag this inside the triggers folder, like that. And now what we need to do is select the locker. Let me just name this the jump scare locker, like that. So if we add a script just inside the model, not of the um, unions. So add in a script and type in local locker equals to script dot parent dot locker model and then go down now we can do local local fallen position equals script dot parent dot fallen position go down and type in local tween service equals to game colon get service two brackets speech marks and then tween service like that go down and do local info equals to tween info dot new two brackets and then we'll do 
0 0.5 comma enum dot easing style then let's do dot bounce then comma enum dot easing direction dot and then let's do out once again comma zero comma false and then comma zero like that go down twice local fall tween equals to tween service colon create two brackets and then locker comma info comma then point brackets c frame equals to and then fallen position dot c frame like that go down and then do repeat wait two brackets until game dot workspace dot triggers dot jump scare triggers and then find first child brackets and speech marks and then jump scare trigger two equals equals to nil then go down and then let's do wait go down and then fall tween colon play two brackets and then that should be it like this then close it off and then test it out so click play and then once load in the first jump scare should play like this go around the corner touch the trigger and then you can see that the locker falls over like this also just ignore this random cut out the back i don't think i filled it in properly but then you can see that the um trigger disappears so we can't trigger it more than once like that and one thing i do want to do is actually adding sound to each jump scare so for the locker we can just click the plus on the script so click the script click plus and add in a sound and then with the sound we can just scroll down change the volume and then change the id and then paste it in like this okay and then open up the script then underneath this fall to in play add in a weight two brackets and then let's do 0 0.4 go down and then do script dot sound colon play two brackets like that close off and then open up replicate storage go back to our jump scare open it go to the animation script click plus add in a sound once again paste in the sound id like this so that's going to be our jump scare sound once again open up the script then where it says animation clip play we can go down with the script dot sound colon play two brackets close off script and then we can test it out and then once load in we can go to trigger and then you can hear the audio play and once again do the same for the locker like that and between also plays and then if you want you can also add more jump scares like the first animation you can also add more lockers falling or any object like that so guys if this video helped make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe down below in the description you can check on my Roblox group and discord server and i'll see you later bye